guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've not sat down and like filmed a proper video in ages, but this one is a super exciting one, probably one of my most requested videos here on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through my tanning routine. For ages I have struggled to find the like perfect tanning routine that just like works for me every time because a lot of you guys love to tell me in the comments about my like dark knuckles and I feel like I'm getting better, okay? I'm getting better. I mean, I always say this, I could moisturize until the cows came home and my knuckles would always still be the tiniest bit darker but I feel like this looks this looks better right I'm really happy with it anyway regardless so um, that's what I'm going to be talking you through today so I'm not just going to be talking you through the like just the tan that I use I'm going to be talking to you about the prep that I do obviously the tan that I use the tools that I use little tricks that I do and then at the end I'm going to include a few of my favorite body glow products as well because I feel like that kind of you know makes a tan look its best as well so it's all part of the process before we get started it is post notification bell shout out time and this week it goes to Nadia Maguire so thank you so much for watching my videos thank you all so much for watching my videos but without further ado let's jump into the video okay so this is like my little tanning I don't know bag tub filled with stuff that I use when I'm fake tanning, I just like keep this away in my bathroom because my mum was like, I don't mind you tanning just as long as I don't see it and as long as it's not all out on the sides. So this is, contains all the magic. So actually, for God's sake, I forgot to bring it over. But first things first, what I do is scrub off my tan. I'm going to leave it linked down below. And I just do this in the shower. And the only thing I found to be the most effective is the Loving Tan tan removing like exfoliating mitt I love that like it's so good I feel like th there's two sides of it there's like a pink side and a black side and I can't remember which color it is but one of them's like really abrasive and the other one's more of just like a buffer it is so so good like I said with everything else I'm gonna leave it linked down below because just to like make this clear right now none this isn't a sponsored video I have so many different brands in here I love different tanning brands for different elements of these steps I love loving tan for their exfoliant mitt yeah like I said really annoyed I didn't bring it over but it's literally just like a exfoliant material mitt that I use to just like scrub off and buff off any excess tan before applying a new layer okay so next up obviously after I've taken off the tan you have to moisturize all the dry areas this is unreal I actually bought my best friend one of these as well because I was like you need it this smells amazing like Amazing. It's from the body shop. It's the Japanese cherry blossom strawberry crisp body cream now when it comes to maintaining my tan I do like to moisturize throughout the week That's a really good tip to keeping your skin hydrated so you don't get that like tiger bread effect I don't use this during the week because it's quite um oily it's like a body butter but this is really great before you apply tan on like the driest parts so like your elbows ankles obviously all over your hands I actually also apply like a little bit here because sometimes I find it gets really quite like well it used to get like really quite dark like, under there I don't know why tan just like clung to that part of my arm so I just moisturize in all the places that tan normally gets stuck so yeah my feet ankles knees hands elbows all of that jazz yeah this like it's the Jap like I said Japanese cherry blossom strawberry kiss body cream okay that's an important thing because they do just have a Japanese cherry blossom range and that just smells really floral oh my god I, I this smells like something I could eat like literally eat like before I go out I like moisturize my like neck with this or just like other parts So it smells really good, like it smells like you want to taste it, if that gives you a little, um, inkling. <laughs> but honestly, this shit smells so good. I've restocked myself on this so many times, I'll leave a link down below. I honestly have the whole Japanese Cherry Blossom Strawberry Kiss, kiss range. They do like a shower gel, a body lotion, all of that good stuff. This honestly, I can't, it smells so sweet and delicious. Literally like strawberry with like flecks of like vanilla and caramel and oh, just like smells so good. I love this to like prep my skin with and it's a massive step in just like my body care slash tanning routine 100%. Next up is the fake tan itself. Now this tan has honestly changed 
the game. Because for me before, I loved, um, like, you know, you've openly heard me say that I love U-Tan, their Turbo Mousse, I love Bondi Sands, Extra Dark Turbo Mousse, love that, and I would still, you know, use that if I ever ran out of this, don't get me wrong, they're like a really gorgeous, like, green, olivey undertone, which is exactly what I look for in a tan, which is kind of why I don't use Loving Tan all over my body, because it's slightly more of, like, a red undertone and I feel like on paler people a green based tan looks a little bit more natural but if you have more of a um, tanned complexion anyway and you're just using it a little bit to you know strengthen your tan then maybe more of a red based tan looks more natural on you that way so for me a green based tan is 100% a must but also I love cocoa brown and if you've if you've used cocoa brown tan they have it's like a different kind of mousse it like genuinely comes out as like a mousse rather than a foam so I loved the color of the Bondi Sands extra like ultra dark and the U-Tan turbo mousse but the foam just like wasn't my fave that's what I was fine that's what I was using when like my hands would go like that that foam just really clung to dry parts on me whereas the cocoa brown tan it like the ultra dark one like didn't it was like dark but not as like dark as like I wanted it to be because like when I washed it off it kind of just like faded but the fo the like foam mousse I loved that and I was like oh my god I just need like them co to like combine together and there to be that foam with that colouring and this is it. This is the Doll Beauty Tan. I have medium golden glow and deep dark. These are actually the only two colours that they do. It says on it, pumped with caviar and argan oil, so therefore it is so hydrating on your skin, hence why I'm finding that it's not clinging to any dry parts that I have, and it smells like heaven with notes of rose and marshmallows. Now, I wouldn't 100% say that it smells like heaven or rose or marshmallows, but like, it kind of does smell really good. I, I definitely say, actually, do you know what? Now I think about it, I was going to say it's definitely sweet with like florals, so therefore, rose and marshmallows is kind of like a good way to describe it. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't have a horrible fake tan smell. It actually smells really nice. It glides onto the skin like so easy, and I find with those foam tans, when you're doing like uh, another layer, like maybe if you like a tan addict <laughs> and you like tan one evening wash it off tan the next evening wash it off and then that's kind of like how you're set for like the week kind of thing so let's like basically what i'm trying to say is when you do it often this like glides on top of like previous tan no tomorrow like i used to find when i was using the foam tan sometimes if i tried to do another layer and i'd not really got the previous tan off it would just look like patchy, do you know what I'm trying, like do you know what I mean? Um, and it didn't look good. I've never found this tan to go patchy ever. And that's like such a strong statement, but honest to God, this is the best tan I've ever used in terms of like foaming fake tan. I feel like if Bondi Sands did like a foam, like a foam version of their ultra dark, I'd be like, okay, these two. Because they don't, I love these. Right now I am wearing deep dark and I have washed it off. Now in terms of mitts, I'm really not fussy in terms of brands, but I do like the ones that are, you know, more of like the fabric material. I feel like that just like buffs into the skin and you it really just like, yeah, applies the tan but then buffs the tan so there's no streaks or anything like that. So yeah, I just like Sometimes I like to mix these two colours together, so I'll do like a pump of medium golden, a pump of deep dark, and then I'll just mix them together and apply it with a mitt. This one I think is from Australis, like, I don't know, it's just like a one of, uh, it's just one of the fabric mitts. Doll Beauty also do a mitt if you want one with like the thumb in it, so that's what I use to apply that with and just buff it all over the body. Now I apply that tan all over my body with a mitt, but then when it comes to my back, I use this. I think I got it from Superdrug. I would have linked everything down below, but you can see it hasn't got the like applicator on it. That came off like a long time ago. So what I like to do, oh, I know some of you guys would have watched my Amazon haul while I got that like back tanner applicator and as soon as I posted that video, so many of you guys commented back applicator doesn't work, like all of this, and I was like, oh, let me give it a go doesn't work it's such a gimmick it's really like hard to use so what i do is like this makeshift so i use this and then i put the mitt in there and like just kind of like fold it around like this so like i would have had the mousse on there and i swear to god i kind of just hold it at the very very end so like it's not going to fall off and do it like that 
works a dream a treat it does it so well i know it's like pretty makeshift and a bit ratchet but honest to god it does the job well and that's why i do it on my back and then i also just have like a little makeup brush i feel like this oh this is just from like tart um literally any sort of like a buffing makeup brush that you don't use um i use um to apply tan on my face now i used to always say i never put tan on my face but this one i feel like it's really good on the face because it, it has got really good like ingredients in it it's got caviar and argan oil in it i also use this when it comes to doing my feet and my toes because i have gel polish on a lot of the time um, you need to make sure that you're wiping the tan off of your toes so your toes don't have a tan mark left on them and get that horrible tinge this just gets into like all the little nooks and crannies you can even use it on your hand but yeah, I use this on my face and toes mitt on the rest of my body this little back applicator to reach my back and I'm good to go. So this is obviously a now when you go to sleep. This will, I always like to make sure I tan at night time so I can just sleep in it, have the kind of like full eight hours of it developing, that kind of good stuff. I feel like I don't, I want my tan to look its best. And I did used to always like put tan on and go out and it was just like a hot mess as you can imagine. So obviously I wake up and I look like this, which is a little bit scary. But what I love about this tan is that sometimes when I put fake tan on, I never want to wash it off because I'm like, it's like basically half the color comes off when you wash it, like it doesn't look good. Blah, 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 blah. This tan like stays and like a, a good amount of stays. Like I wash off, obviously the top layer comes off, but I, I feel like I'm still a very similar color to that, which I personally really like. Um, It does come off like on my face a little bit more, which again, I really appreciate. I don't want to be looking like I'm covered in mud on my face. So after I've showered, I will then moisturize again, just to make sure that everything is super hydrated and kept really, it's going to be kept maintained. And a little trick for like during the week that I actually, I don't, can't remember why I saw it, but what I do is like every time they're from this point on that I shower, I take that Loving Tan Exfoliant Mist and I'm not rubbing hard on my skin to try and get rid of the tan. I'm just like lightly exfoliating my skin. You could even use like an exfoliant body wash to do that. It just gets rid of like a little layer of your skin and just helps the tan fade really evenly rather than um, that tiger bread effect happening or anything like that. So that's just a little tip and obviously to keep moisturizing every time that you shower. Using a gradual tan moisturizer as well will help to maintain that tan. I don't actually do that, but I know um, other people that do and that just kind of keeps the tan the same color for longer yeah so that's just like a little tip for maintaining the tan and i guess that's kind of it in terms of my tanning routine so once i'm like a color like this and i'm about to go out then i use certain products to like emphasize the tan so i'm now just going to talk you through a few of my favorite body glow type products as well as the tools that i use to apply them as well. Okay, so let me talk you through a few of my favorite body glow creams, if that makes sense. So the first one is this. This one is definitely more of a like glow factor. This is from Rochelle Humes brand. It's called High Glow. You can see I've literally nearly used this whole thing up, but you can see it's the most gorgeous like gold color. I know a lot of photographers and makeup artists use this on set on like legs and body. It honestly just is the most gorgeous olivey yellow golden color. Amazing holiday essential like you have to get this for holiday if you tan really well or just want to have that like extra glow to your tan. This is amazing and I would probably just apply that with a mitt or to that I apply a lot of my body glow products with this brush here. This is from Iconic London. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys but this is such a good like buffing brush to like apply a body glow type products. Another body glow product that I love is the Bondi Sands Finishing glow gloss this one is definitely more of like a brown color and it's a hundred percent more of a glossy finish rather than glowy finish it's like glossy finish it looks a slightly more like wet on the skin which i really really like and the color is slightly more natural it's more of the like let me like get a little bit out you can kind of see what i mean it's like a darker gold and just kind of blends into a darker tan like this. Looks amazing. Again, I would apply this to like my legs, 
shoulder, anything like that. It just adds maybe like more of a little bit more color, like a darker color, but more of like a natural dark color rather than like an intense luminous gold. It's more of like a dark golden bronze, if that makes sense. So I love this. They also do this in a matte finish if you just want kind of like color rather than like glow. And then I think there is more of a glowy finish rather than gloss. Something like that, I'm not sure, I just know that there's three finishes of this product. So if you don't like the glossy, glowy finish, like I said, there's the matte. They have something for everything. Bondo Sands is like OG tanning brand, one of the best out there. I love their stuff so, so, so much. They always come out with these new products that are just like, that's exactly what I needed in my tanning routine. And yeah, I love this, check it out. Another body glow product that I love, that is a new one is from Utan. It is the collab with Jamie Genovese. It is their Skin Idol Face and Body Bronzer Instant Photo Ready Skin Finish. This is actually what I have on right now. Obviously, as well as my tan, I have this and another little product that I've got here. Just because this dries matte or like it just like dries, these two don't claim wait do they yeah these two don't claim to dry so therefore mm, can be a little bit movable a little bit transferable this says to set for 60 seconds before getting dressed and you can spray it with a setting spray for extra transfer protection which i really really love the color of this to be fair i feel like this is slightly more of a matte slash satin finish like there is like a bit of a glow but it definitely is more on the matte side of things in comparison to like those other two that I showed love this so much honestly it's such a gorgeous color works amazingly with that doll beauty tan color they've both got that olive vibe going on glides on effortlessly honestly this is like a must have and it's new and it's Jamie and it's you tan so honestly obsessed with this and if you haven't already you should definitely check it out I'll leave it linked down below a new tanning fave so if body glow lotions were weren't enough and you need to look dripping, like popping, all of the above, then I have a few favorite tanning oils that I like. And as well, we've got like a, almost like a glitter finishing spray that I also really love. So let's jump right into that. Like I said earlier, Coco Brown is one of my favorite tanning brands as well. And they have this golden goddess shimmering dry face body oil. This is unreal the two body oils that i've got are like insane but if you want one with slightly more of like a golden color the other one that i have is just kind of a little bit more of like a glitter spray oil this is going to be your best friend on holiday this just looks well actually i say on holiday like there's no sun here but like legit there is really no sun in the uk really ever this is just amazing looks so gorgeous on the skin i'll do like a little bit on my <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen on my hand right now. Let's just like rub this in. Oh yes, give me the glossy vibes. Honestly, is, okay, I've got this everywhere. Is so nice, smells really good as well. Like the Coco Brown Tan as a brand actually does smell really good for tan. And this body oil does not disappoint. This all over your chest, get those oily titties, arms, legs, everywhere and this is like yeah more of a dry oil and i find sometimes that with oils they can transfer a little bit but because it's a dry oil it is slightly more less likely to transfer honestly just when the light hits gives the most gorgeous glittery vibe without looking too like glitter glitter but some people like glitter glitter and if you like glitter glitter like me because I love glitter glitter, um, you're gonna really like these next two products as well. This product is like a mix between the one that I just showed you and one that I'm like about to show you. So this is like a little dupe obviously for like that Tom Ford body oil, but the, I have the Tom Ford body oil, but the difference is this smells like fragrance and it's Laura Geller Gilded Honey Illuminate, wait, is it actually? Yeah, Gilded Honey Illuminating Body Mist. This is like an oil spray, but it almost feels like perfume vibes, and it doesn't really like tra like look like heavy oil on your skin. I could literally like just douse it on me now, and it leaves the most gorgeous reflective glitter. Not so much of a golden color in comparison, so I feel like this is like 
on like your last days of the holiday when you're like really dark and you just want that glittery oily look without any sort of color that this is so good and it's not gonna cost you like 80 pounds like that Tom Ford one can't believe it's from Laura Geller it smells amazing and obviously Laura Geller doesn't do perfumes I don't think so I don't know they've got the scent bang on with this as well honestly like and it's quite like small like really super travel friendly I am obsessed with this and finally I have like literally just like a glitter spray now I know you're gonna be thinking like why would you just want a glitter spray but it's such a fine mist and what I like to do is this is what I've actually done today is apply the Jamie skin idol and then sprayed myself with this it's got one of these cute little like <laughs> puffs so it really honestly is just like a light mist. Maybe I'll zoom you in and I'll like spray a, woo, spray a little bit. Or can you see? Like, let me try and focus. Okay, let me like spray my chest right now. Can you like see that? Or am I just like wasting my time? Just like catch the light. Looks so like subtle and like natural, but it's still like glittery which is what I really like I'm really awful at describing things but like just gives you a natural glitter and I know natural and glitter don't really like fit in the same conversation or anything like that but I swear down that's what it does and it's from a really random brand it's like called Art Deco it's their crystal beauty dust I will try and leave it linked down below if I can find it because I'm pretty sure last time I tried to find it it was like out of stock and I'm not surprised it honestly just gives like the most subtle gorgeous glitter got me feeling myself especially like all of these glittery products I love to wear when wearing like a low cut top or something like that because it sounds bad but like the ch your chest is kind of like what quite like near the eye length almost so it's one of the first things that people might look at and I obviously want it to be a good view I want it to be popping I want to be glistening I want to look like you could unwrap me and I'm a <laughs> candy looking glassy sweet or something like that I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about right now but you know what I'm trying to say honestly these are just some of my favorite products I use to like make me feel good I feel like everyone lives their best life when they have a slight more color to them and but I feel like you could use this color if you don't tan at all and you're slightly more on the paler side illuminating body mist has no color to it, it would look unreal moisturize your body girl smell good this has no color to it there's plenty of options of each of the things that I have said so again I'm just gonna to say it because I always still get questions even though I'm telling you I've left everything in the description bar down below for you guys to check out this is just something that I have found to really really work for me I get an amazing result every time so I feel confident you know letting you guys know about it now make sure you check out the brands that I've mentioned in the description bar down below but I feel like that is it if you guys want to know what is on my face I'm sure I will have posted a makeup breakdown of this look by now on my Instagram so make sure you're following me on Instagram we're so close to 200k on Instagram like, I don't know how that suddenly happened so quickly, but it has. So I'd really appreciate you guys if you gave me a follow on there. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be back with a new video on Sunday. So I will see you then. Bye, guys.